hello and welcome to Ramblings with Rebecca. I'm very conscious of two things. Um, one, that it's been a very long time. Sorry. Uh, and two, that it's been very rambly. Um, which of course is part of the point, but you know, we've been more or less lacking in themes. Uh, so we're going to try um, to catch up a wee bit and then to discuss potential themes moving forward and perhaps give this a wee bit more regular because it is now summer and I should fe like theoretically have more time. That has not been the case <laughs> lately. I'm not sure whether or not it's really going to be the case moving forward, but we're going to go with it is. It's five minutes. It doesn't take that long. That was the whole point at the beginning of this. Five minutes every day. It doesn't take that long. So <clears throat> here we go. Five minutes, hopefully at least three times a week during the summer. That's going to be our goal. Happy summer! Uh, it's not officially summer, like season-wise, obviously, uh, but classes are out, exams are finishing up for most of the UK universities, uh, so I'm going with I'm going with happy summer, uh, and I'm wearing sunglasses, even though it's 10 p.m. at night, because <laughs> mostly I use them as a headband. Uh, but I did actually need the sunglasses yesterday, leaving Edinburgh. It was very exciting. Leaving Edinburgh, speaking of which. Uh, so... The big reason that Ramblings has not been on in a while is because I've been back and forth from London, I think three times in the past three weeks. It's been a little insane. I went down to celebrate the Marshalls' 60th anniversary. Uh, we have a farewell dinner for departing scholars every year. Uh, and this year it was a bigger, sh a bigger shenanigan than usual uh, since we were celebrating the kickoff of our 60th year. Uh, so that was fun. And then I helped run a conference on hydrohegemony, uh, so water politics and power inequalities and uh, particularly counter-hegemonic action. Uh, so theoretical uh, and applied examples uh, and ideas around how we can test uh, hegemony. Leadership, usually thought of as malev malevolent, uh, around water resources, and we were questioning also kind of hegemonic, uh, dominant discourses and ideas around water resources. Um, so that was a really good time. Uh, and out of that coming lots of working papers and presentations, and I'll be helping take lead on a big proceedings document, uh, and all kinds of ideas sparked and whatnot. Uh, and then I was also simultaneously hosting uh, some people in Edinburgh who then came down to London uh, and so I squired them out in both cities and it was really fun to see them uh, but you know being a tourist takes time vacation is really hard work craziness uh then I came back up and worked except that then I got pink eye <laughs> very minor pink eye but enough that no one wanted to see me on camera for two days so lack of <laughs> ramblings going on. And then I turned her back around and went to London uh, to see Garrett's show. Uh, my Marshall mate uh, starred as the <laughs> seducer in The Baker's Wife, uh, a lesser known musical by the same guy Schwartz who wrote uh, Wicked. A uh, well-known song from it that is, um, blah, 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 blah. oh gosh, bird. Hold on. Kind of bird. Meadowlark. There we go. Meadowlark. Really, really beautiful. You should all listen to that because it's a gorgeous song. Slightly tragic, but gorgeous. I will also post a URL to my favorite version of that via YouTube below. Um, anyway, so then I, but I came back up today on the longest train ride in existence. I took the cheapy one, uh, which does, is not sl sl so direct, so it's scheduled to be quite a bit longer. And in my head, that wasn't a big deal. But then we got delayed. <laughs> The cafe bar broke down and it suddenly became a big deal, but I made it back um, and had uh, hosted a lecture with Edinburgh Law Connections, the alumni group that I helped head up uh, uh, with Andrew Murray on digital privacy, uh, who was doing at George Orwell uh, in 1984 and 2014. Really fun lecture, actually. Like, I totally don't care about digital privacy law much at all, but it was really fun. He was very engaging, so it was really great. Uh, and we had a good 30 people in the room. Not bad for our first lecture in the summertime, hosted by a student group. We're going with it. And then choir practice, because this weekend, uh, the Edinburgh Central Meth City of Edinburgh Methodist Church uh, is having a big building refurbishment opening weekend. Uh, so the choir is doing a big bang Saturday morning. Uh, we we're singing several pieces. Um, so I had choir practice. And tomorrow, uh, marathon runners come in, and I'm hosting marathon runners, because it's the marathon this weekend, too. 